Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This better not be. It better not be. It is. Dang it. Dang it. Well, at least we got a couple of one-ups, I suppose. Well, in any case, I guess it's time to start that galaxy. Uh, yeah, that one. See, this is the Boss Rush Galaxy that I've been dreading playing. It's called Boss Blitz Galaxy. And, uh... You know, I, I really should probably do more Metroid walkthroughs, but... I don't know, I'm just not super knowledgeable on them. Either with their, you know, my, my controls on it, you know, like I'm not super fluent with them, and I don't know all the secrets offhand, so I'd have to keep looking back at guides and stuff like that, and... Hey, you know, did I ever show what I've got in my golf bag? Like, what, what clubs did I use? Well, for Woods, I've got the Ping G5 in uh, 5 and Driver. No 3 wood, as I'm more focused on the short game than anything. Uh, Cobra Bio Cell set at 21.5 degrees hybrid. It's a pretty dang handy club from all sorts of terrains, so definitely gotta keep that bad boy working in there. And got a 4 iron through pitching wedge in the Ping I2 Plus. This was uh, apparently a pretty controversial club, but I don't know, I got them as a gift. I've been just using them ever since. <laughs> And uh, for my wedges, I've got a ping tour in the nickel. Yeah, it's in 52 degrees. See, the pitching wedge is uh, about 48.5 degrees, so I need to go to 52. And I got a 56 degree Mizuno Zoid. I, I did some repainting of some stuff over here. Like, this was all black paint before at one time, but I kind of ran out of black and it kind of chipped out from a lot of use, so I just, I went for some white accents on that. Maybe I should get black another time to just kind of restore its original look. There's also the, uh, 60 degree Mac Daddy PM grind from Callaway. PM is Phil Mickelson, you know, the legendary short game master. Uh, I also got two putters here. Of course, I only use one at, at any particular round, but I just, you know, I pick out whichever one is suiting me best. Like, I got a really, really thin Wilson 8802 blade putter, and I've also got a Odyssey white steel two ball here. Yeah, it's called the two ball because of, uh, yeah, this sort of look here, but obviously these are just like, total, total polar opposites of, that, of each other, hence why I've got them for uh, my different eye, I guess you could say, that I have from day to day, you know, it's just a matter of feeling out which one is best, and uh... <sighs> Okay, fine, I'll just get it started. Boss Blitz Galaxy, no more stalling. Throw back, throw down. So yeah, it's the boss place. And these are all bosses from Super Mario Galaxy 1, so it's more rehashed content. Only, since it's a boss rush, it's kind of in the worst way possible. <laughs> Alright, first up is Dino Piranha. Well, I mean, it's not really in attack form just yet, but, uh, well, it's it, it will be once I do this. That's its weakness. Oh man, it's Pee Wee Piranha's original form of sorts. Only you're not attacking the butt, you're attacking the tail. It's, it's similar enough, I suppose, <laughs> to kind of give you an idea of how to beat it, so yeah. Ah, there we go. And just keep repeating this until it begs for mercy. There we go! Now, one down, four to go! Oh. I mean, that one did go quick, but there are longer ones. Uh, number four is probably the longest one, probably, probably, but, uh... Let's just take a look here on this planet here first. Nothing else? Okay. Moving on! It's King Caliente! Just knock the green coconuts back at him. Watch us. Uh, oh, he's not doing it just yet. Well, we'll see. We'll see. 
And there we go. And that's how you damage him. But uh, before you before you defeat him, why don't you just go on the other side of this planet? Look at this. Look at this. Just leaving the boss behind, getting ourselves life shoot. <laughs> getting the comet medal. Look at that. This is like a complete safety area that he cannot hit you at whatsoever. But uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna eventually have to come back over here anyway. I suppose. And this is now turning into Phantom Ganon. Uh, because uh, every every mo one more hit, it, it increases the amount of coconut back slaps, I guess you could say. And now, we got some little Kotobus hanging out, having a good time. Yeah, hopefully they won't hinder me too badly. Alright, that's, that's done. Ah. Okay, two down. We're making good time, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Major Barrels is next. Yeah. It's a big mole. And you can only knock him out of the ground when he's popped out of the ground enough. Uh, like that. Do that. Ground pound next to him. You spin. There's your hits. Yeah, we've already kind of dealt with moles in that sort of sense before, except we didn't have to wait for him to pop out of the ground enough. You could just ground pound right next to them. Now we've got extra aggression mode. It's coming for us. You can actually see the little ground puffs of whatever. Now he's, he's dizzied. But on the third phase is probably the most difficult. Because uh, he goes in super hyper mode and then you gotta do two ground pounds rather than one to get him out of the ground into a vulnerable state. And it'll eventually kind of do its thing. There we go. And it's gonna do it one more time. There we go. Just wait for it to come in relatively close. Also watch out for all that kicked up ground there because that kicked up ground uh, hinders your movement. It eventually subsides on its own and or gets busted up by the moly poly itself, but, well, it didn't really come into play there, so not that big of a deal. Um, I suppose you could probably have lead him around there to kill those to get some health or something like that, but I, there's a coin there too. But that's seemingly good, and there's a little choose your reward there if you'd like it, but I'm just going to leave that there and... Move on over here. It's Boulder Guys, the longest boss in the world. <laughs> so it's got these boulders. You know, it shoots them out at you. There's a gold boulder. Those contain coins, but the ones that you really want are the black ones. They contain bombos, and then you just kind of mash them right into its body like so. But it's not that difficult or anything like that. It just takes forever to do. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be a very friendly boss for a certain challenge coming up. Let's just put it that way. Alright, so let's just try and get him out of this. There we go. Now we can actually hit him, because its body was just like an armor of sorts. You can also spin to increase your range a little bit there. Like, I got a little bit extra oomph out of my spinny spins there to give it, you know, a little bit more distance to my shots or roundabouts, whatever you want to call a ring around the rosy. <laughs> like, I don't even know what you would call that maneuver. It's like the Bowser Boo Mario 64 swing, only with the tongue. Now that it's got two arms, it's going to be doing punch attacks. The one that you probably want to focus on the most is this, this right one here, because it's going to block your attacks for the most part. Uh, yeah, and you notice how those boulders always get shot at the place that you are and not where you're going, so... That makes it relatively... Ah, oh, I had a good opportunity to hit the body there, but it failed me. But yeah, that makes it relatively uh, simple, I guess you could say, to figure out where the boulders that he's shooting at you are going to go. But, well... But, well. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if the left one comes back. And yes, they do come back if you take too long to uh, to get a hit in before... Uh, well, yeah. But yeah, I'm just more focused on that right one getting out of the way because then because he always spins it in a counterclockwise direction. So as long as I get get it like that, then I can actually do a body shot. But the thing about it is that well, just just look at this. It, it, the opportunities that you can actually hit the body, not all that high. I mean, it's an okay boss. It just takes forever to do because you have to be super super patient with it. And as I said, it's not going to be the the easiest of bosses to pull off a good victory on in the future challenge at this uh, galaxy. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, oops. Oh, I thought that was the last boulder. Oh. Ah, oh, man. 
Oh man, well I've got I've got got a little bit of health to spare. We should be okay. I don't want to nick the left one. Well, I nicked the left one. I got its pinky finger or something. <laughs> okay, there goes the right one. Well, I guess that's technically its left hand, but I mean it's my right. Dang it. <laughs> And also, these also get in the way of the booze, so you might want to break them apart, even though he kind of naturally breaks them on his own, too. But, eh, don't, don't worry about, like, doing the same routine every time, because things are going to change every time and whatnot. Uh, well, ah, uh, oh, that was a good opportunity, too. I tried to do one of those long flings to sneak it in there, but alas, alas, just didn't work out. Didn't work out. Okay. Ooh, I got two, I got two! Yes! <laughs> and yeah! Boss number four is down. One more to go. And this, yeah, this is why I kind of confused the other one, the other place with this one, you know, the other world, because it has a similar planetary structure. You know, it's a small planet to small planet. Oh, I should have maybe went back and got those coins of... Wait, can I actually even see that other planet from here? I never checked that before. Uh, there's Calientes. Is yeah, I guess. Oh, the platforms are actually gone, so you can't actually. I didn't really think that they would. I mean, I thought they would come back or something after you beat the boss, but I guess once you lose out on the coins, you've lost out on the coins forever. <laughs> All right, final boss, fiery Dino Piranha now. It, think of like fiery gobble gut, you know, where it leaves trails of flames and stuff like that. But but it's a little bit different in that its tail is only vulnerable when it's not glowing hot. So you can't just like walk around it and expect to hit it at any time, like those bubbles on gobble guts bellies and whatnot. So yeah, uh, just give it a little cycle here. Just waiting for it to cool down. There we go. Oh, oh, oh man, oh man, this is another boss that could be difficult to. Uh, speed run because of this pulsingness here. <laughs> and obviously you can't touch his body, like, even more than usual. <laughs> oh, come on! Just, just please, 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 thank you. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. It's bad. Phase two, and now here comes the trails of fire of death. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be even more fiery than it was before. Oh, 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 wait, 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 oh, it's doing the pulsing already? Really? Okay, okay, I can live with that. As long as I get a time to- Ah, oh, you're going back into hyper mode. Oh, just as I was approaching with the perfect time. Well, it wasn't the perfect time, obviously, because it wasn't, it wasn't doing any damage when it's, when it's on fire like that. It's in vulnerable state. There we go. But it's not over yet. Whoa! <laughs> that was a pretty good shot there. It's first fireball that got me. Woo! Woo! Come on. Come on, knock your tail out of ignition. Ah! It's pulsing even more. I should say pulsing even faster. Okay, I'm gonna get ahead of it about here. Yes! Yes! <sighs> okay. Well. I got the star, but you probably realize that there's uh, there's another star here. <laughs> it involves beating them all again, but in time trial mode of sorts. You got to do it under a time limit, which could be uh, pretty horrible. How things can possibly go because of the, all the RNG and the bosses. Uh, we're at 117. Common metal. Yippee! I O cry yay! <laughs> and it's gonna open that path, of course, but it's also gonna make a comet appear. Oh, I thought it was gonna make a comet appear over at the boss blitz, but I guess not. A green one followed me back. What the? A green one? But he's got some interesting tales to tell. Why don't you go say hello? Okay. If I could find them, um, I think the table that it was at was around this side. No! Well, I should say it's like a stump chair, excuse me, it's not a table. Well, oh, I wouldn't have found it anyway. Seeking the cosmic jewels, it's been our lifelong pursuits. There is a saying that they can be found when all of the stars have been collected. 
Any other things? Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. So, actually, I guess I can't go back over to the Boss Rush Galaxy then. Thank Arceus. I was expecting to have to do it twice in a row, but I guess the uh, Comet ain't uh, open. I mean, I should say Comet Metal and is not opening that up because I haven't unlocked. Uh, I should say I haven't set this Hungry Luma up. 2,000 star bits. Yeah, 2,000. But I'm so glad I don't have to do it twice in a row. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I, I was t tempted to actually go just over here to this new galaxy. And then just, you know, just call it a day and for that part. And then come back to the Boss Rush Galaxy when I have a full, full fresh part for me to torment myself on all the horrors of that galaxy. Wait, that was one star bit for five. I don't... I don't believe... <laughs> Alright, so it's transforming... The final... Hungry Luma. And there it is, an actually new galaxy. Yeah, they actually, there is an actually new galaxy in this place. I know, I know, I mean, besides the... Um, uh, rolling coaster in a way, sorta of, kinda. It's the flip out galaxy. <laughs> So this is basically the uh, platforming switch wall jump galaxy type thing. It's a really cool galaxy. Wicked wall jumps! And uh, you know your spin? It's It does the same thing with those flip platforms as it does here with the different colors. And it also got some pretty cool music for it as well. Ready? Watch, see, they're, they're indicating the spin. Spin to make the ledges pop out and go again! Boing, 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 boing. What about you? Wall jump and spin! Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, that's how it rolls. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna leave those two. So you just do this, do that, and you can actually climb stuff. It's pretty cool whole setup here. There's a one up up over here, but you don't really have to do that. You just go straight to the pipe if you'd like to. There is a comet metal, I believe, on top of one of these structures, though. Um, I do believe it's on top of one of these structures. I could be wrong, though. Let's just let's just explore around and see, because there's, there's secrets to find, so it, it'll be a fun romp. All right, so obviously once I spin, the wall jump test has begun. Oh, there's actually an under platform. Okay, I was, I was wondering if I was going to be safe or not to do that, but it is! It is! Uh, I'm going to go in the first person here. I just could have swore it was somewhere around these parts. Eh, maybe not here. Maybe not here. Also, of course, be careful of how and when you spin for obvious reasons, because you don't want to uh, lose your platform out from underneath your feet, as that would be Potentially devastating to a run, if, depending on how far you are into this one. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I made it to here. It, maybe it, it almost made playing the Boss Blitz Galaxy worth it. Almost. <laughs> uh, are you going over here? Uh, I'm not going to spin. Remember, spin when it serves you best. I'm going to do that to close them in. Long jump, open them up! Haha! -ha. Spikes all in the timing. There we go. Ta -da! Wait for it. Woo! Uh, I can just kind of set that up then. And I bet this level would be really interesting one to speed run. If you think about it. <laughs> uh, do that. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay. <laughs> Almost thought I didn't have it there for a second. I don't think I missed the Comet Medal just yet, because I didn't see the opportunity to get up. Uh, hmm, I think that's actually where it is up there. That sparkle sparkle? Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things turn out here. Just one thing at a time. Just relax and enjoy the wall kicking. I'm going to do this, get that, yep, there's our Comet Medal, okay. So to get that, I'm going to have to do some fancy schmancy shenanigans here. I'm going to do this. Do this. Oh, whoop, that was not correct. Wrong direction of my backflip. I'm going to do backflip, spin, wall kick, spin. Oh, that's wrong, actually. No, I was... Yeah, it actually should be out first when I do my backflip. 
Okay. I miscounted on my plan. Oh wait, no, that's- that is- how did I not take a hit there? Did I just, like, pop my face into the wall or something? Well, anyway, let's actually see if there's a different way to that. Maybe on top of all those platforms I can get away with it? Probably. Mm, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, that's not good! That's not good! Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go and do that then. And eventually, I think... Uh, well, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, eventually I think I'll be able to get to the top, but not that run! Not that run! Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, now I think this is how you get on top of the other ones. But the blue has to be out. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think I can just long jump from here now. Uh, oh! No. <laughs> the, the blue has to be in. The blue most certainly has to be in. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I need to do a little spin at the end of that. Okay. We're, we're gonna get this. Okay. <laughs> okay, now is there enough room to do a jump? I should say, is there enough long jump to make it? Yes, there is. Alright, there's our Comet Medal, providing we do not mess up horrendously. Uh, oh! messed up horrendously. <laughs> I should have looked ahead to see if there were any spikes down there. But okay, we know how to get that now. We got it. But yeah, as I said, it was on top of one of those structures. It was just a matter of which one was it. <laughs> okay, I think all these spikes are just kind of like moving moving in a row. However, they... Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Just kind of like do this in all one... One fell swoop. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Go, go, go! Woo! Well, I really like that, that whole concept there of wall jumping along with spins to control the platforms. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, it's a piece of cake now. We got that. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I'm trying to count the time here. I think I can go about now. Like, I'm just trying to count it in my head. Yes, I was correct! Yes, I know the pacing of the spikes because I've done it, like, 30 times already. <laughs> uh, okay, so now here, we got, a, like, a double transition going on. This is partly why I'm not super concerned about health, because falling is a one-hit kill anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I love that though, that's really clever. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Grab that star and well actually, can I get on top of this? Because these walls don't look very high. Oh, it goes all the way up, okay. Um nothing to be seen there, I guess. It even zooms out the camera nicely so you can actually see over there. So let's grab that star and get out. <laughs> yeah! Awesome! <laughs> and I think, because I think the next comment that's going to open up is going to be at Boss Blitz Galaxy, I'm going to end up ending off part here, because I, I think it's going to be horrible, just horrible. <laughs> yep, I was correct. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I hate you. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we beat the bosses again, except with a strict time limit. Uh...